Review lesson 21, we will be converting improper fractions into mixed numbers. So here are the steps to converting an improper fraction to a mixed number. One, divide the numerator by the denominator. Two, the answer to your division problem becomes the whole number. Three, the remainder becomes the new numerator. And four, the denominator stays the same. So, here we have our fraction. We are going to convert this. All right, so we have 18 fourths. So we are going to divide 18 into equal groups of four because four is the size of our group. And I'll move this out of the way since we're doing some long division. So how many fours go into 18? Th um, four. Fours go into 18. Four times four is 16. Subtract, and I have a remainder of two. So remember our directions. The answer to your division problem becomes the whole number. The remainder becomes the new numerator. Here's the remainder. And the denominator stays the same. Let's try another one. Let's do 32 fifths. All right? So remember, we're going to divide 32 and the size of our group is five. So 32 into equal groups of five. So how many fives are in 32? Six, multiply, five times six is 30. Subtract, and you get two, so you have a remainder of two. Remember in our directions, the answer to your division problem becomes the new whole number. The remainder is your new numerator and your denominator always stays the same because the size of your group does not change. Okay, let's look at this one. 19 divided by 8 because I have 19 pieces divided into groups of 8 because that's the size of my whole. My whole is divided into 8 equal parts. So how many 8's are in 19? 2. Multiply. 16. Subtract. You have a remainder of 3. The two becomes the whole number. My remainder, three, becomes the new numerator, and my denominator is eight. All right, last one we're doing together, 25 thirds. So I have groups of three in my whole, right? Groups of three in the whole. How many, I have 25 of these thirds. So Maddie, how many a whole, amounts can I make? Okay, let's look. So how many threes are in 25? Eight. Three times eight is 24. Subtract, I have a remainder of one. Let me prove this to you so you can see. Now I have a bunch of things divided into thirds, right? So I have one, two, three, this is a whole. Four, five, six, this is a whole. Seven, eight, nine, this is a whole. 10, 11, 12, this is a whole. 13, 14, 15, this is a whole. Looks like I'm gonna have to make more thirds. All right, I'm at 15. 16, 17, 18, that's a whole. 19, 20, 21, that's a whole. 22, 23, 24, that's a whole. And one more set of thirds, and 25. So I just colored in 25 thirds. So how many whole groups do I have filled? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, it should be a two, seven, eight. So I've got eight whole groups, and how many more thirds? One, so eight and one third, okay? For homework tonight, I would like you to convert all of these improper fractions into mixed numbers, please, using division. Thank you for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.